Hey guys, before this video begins, I want to point out that we have some brand new merch you guys can check out linked in the description down below with a bunch of different products and color schemes that you can all check out. But with that said, enjoy the video. The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 15, Craven, the Hunter. Okay, group, the party's over. In case you haven't heard, there's a little old law against organizing bank robbery gangs in this town. We're trapped. It's Spider-Man. He must have been shadowing us out there, listening to our plans. Hold it, boys. Where are your manners? I'm not through with you yet. Let's get out of here. It's no use. He got us. He has a web here blocking the doorway. Now if you all line up like good little soldiers, I'll remove my webbing and march you down to headquarters, so fall in. That's funny, I could have sworn there were four of them. If I can land on that awning below, I may escape yet. He doesn't suspect who I really am. I made it. Now to release my special chemical gas to instantly change the color of my suit. And for a final touch, I'll put on my spare hat and extend my adjustable telescoping cane. Now I can calmly walk right back past him. He'll never suspect that I'm his old enemy, the Chameleon. There were four of them, I'm sure of it, but it looks as though the leader got away. There's no one below except that old man with a cane. A short time later, behind the bolted doors of his apartment, the elusive chameleon removes one of his many ingenious masks. I can see that Spider-Man is now more dangerous to me than ever. So long as he lives, my security will be in danger. I still remember what a dangerous foe he was when I first fought him. And he was just beginning his career at that time. Even in my specially prepared helicopter, I couldn't escape him. After I was arrested as a spy and deported, I lived in exile all this time. But now that I've returned to resume my crime career, I find Spider-Man still threatens me. He must be disposed of, but by whom? He's too dangerous for me to tackle, and no one else would be foolhardily enough to attack him just for my benefit. Wait, I'm wrong. There is a man to do the job, a man who'd relish the task, my old friend, Craven, the hunter, the most dangerous stalker on earth. I'll send him a wire immediately. A week later, at the editorial offices of the Daily Bugle, publisher J. Jonah Jameson storms through his doorway, and away we go. Grab your stano book, Miss Brad. The biggest story of the year is about to break at the pier. Craven the Hunter is arriving from Africa. Call Parker, have him meet us there with his camera. Yes, sir. Of course. But who is Craven the Hunter, Mr. Jameson? Craven is a living legend, the greatest hunter of all time. He's trapped and defeated every type of beast that lives, and always single-handed. Hi, Betty. I got your message, so here I am. Pete. I'm so glad to... Oh, did you come with her? Look, Peter Parker is here. He must have come to get a look at Craven also. Well, happy day. Oh, Pete, isn't it thrilling? Craven the Hunter has never been seen in New York before. Uh, yes, Liz. Sure. H have you, uh, uh, met Betty Brandt? No, Peter. We haven't had the pleasure. Parker, this isn't a meeting of the Lonely Hearts Club. You're here to take pictures of Craven. Look alive, he's coming. There he is. Isn't he handsome? So big, so powerful, so rugged looking. They say that he could defeat anything that lives with his bare hands. Mr. Craven, wait. I'm J. Jonah Jameson. I want an exclusive interview with you. I'm willing to pay you more than... Wait, not interested. I am a hunter. I came here to hunt the most dangerous game of all. Suddenly, a fearful cry rings out. The loading crane snapped. The cages fell. Run, run. The beasts are loose. Run for your lives. While the crowd flees in confusion, one figure dashes behind some concealing crates to emerge seconds later as the amazing spider man. I can't let those rampaging animals hurt any innocent people. I hope I can round them all up in time. It's a good thing I was here. No one else could move as quickly or as... Hey, how'd he get there first? 
The force body can reach the spot. His incredulous eyes witness the greatest hunter of all time as he leaps into action. Best as cobras are, their speed is no match for mine. Hurry, Mr. Craven, the gorillas are running wild. I defeated them before in the jungle, and I can do it again now. All it takes is just the right blow and just the right nerve center. Can't get close enough to the other one to throw my knockout punch. I'll have to resort to something else. I'll use this tranquilizing drug which I keep in one of my belt tusks to quiet him down. Then he'll be easy to handle. Holy smoke, that guy Craven is a regular one-man army. No wonder he's so doggone famous. The way he's handling those beasts, I'm about as necessary as a bouncer at the policeman's ball. Wow, besides everything else, he's a mass of muscles. Look at the way he's lifting that gorilla. He must have played marbles with barbells when he was a kid. And then, seeing that Craven has everything under control, Spidey rushes back to the concealing crates and changes to Peter Parker again. I'd better get back to J. Jonah. Old Hatchetface is probably having conniption fits, wondering where I am. This is our lucky day, Parker. I'll plaster your pictures of Craven battling those escaped animals all over the front page. Let's go back and get them developed now. P pictures Oh no, in all the excitement, I clean forgot to snap any. You didn't snap them. Tell me I'm hearing things. Tell me it's all a bad dream. Tell me it never happened. Your tie is crooked, Petey. Let me fix it for you. Yes, PD. Let her fix it for you. Something tells me this just isn't my day. Liz, if you want Parker to get a fat lip, just keep that up. Look, Mr. Jameson, I'm awfully sorry. I, I guess I must have... Get lost, useless. I'll have a talk with you later. Mr. Craven, I'd like to ask you what you're going to hunt here. There aren't any wild beasts running loose that I know of. You are wrong. There is one who seems to be more beast than human. He will be my greatest conquest. The most dangerous game in the world is a man. And I shall hunt the most dangerous man of all. The one who calls himself Spider man. He's gonna hunt me? Oh, brother, I had a feeling I should have stayed in bed today. I can't say it isn't an intriguing idea, Mr. Craven, but you know there are laws against things like that. You can't just track down a human being in this country. We shall see about that, Mr. Jameson. We shall see. That character isn't kidding. Something tells me there's more to all this than what would appear on the surface. But what? What's his real reason for wanting to hunt me? Come along, Miss Brant. We're not on an outing. Betty, I I'd like to explain about Liz. There's no need to explain, PD. Everything is quite clear, PD. Crying out loud, Liz. How can you waste time on Puny Parker when I'm around? You muscle-bound dupe. You wouldn't understand if I told you. Finally, after the crowd is thinned out and things return to normal. Boy, when I used to read comic mag adventures of superheroes, I always dreamed of how great it would be if I could become one. It's great, all right. For everyone except Spider-Man. Aw, oh, nuts. Move it, Bob. You're blocking progress. But now, let us return to the hideout of the Chameleon, where we find... I've collected all the data and information about Spider-Man that I could find. It's made up of newspaper reports, magazine articles, and first-hand interviews with people who've seen him. Good. I want to know everything about my quarry. It will make the hunt that much more interesting. Don't underestimate him, Craven. Remember, he's no simple jungle beast. And you remember, my friend, that I am no ordinary hunter. I possess undreamed of strength and speed, which I obtained by drinking a secret potion stolen from the witch doctor of a hidden African tribe. With but one punch, I can stop the charge of a bull elephant. Not long afterwards, a dramatic figure prowls the rooftops of New York, observing the vast panorama that Below. I've got to take some terrific news photos in order to get back in J. Jonah's good graces. If only... A shot. There's a watchman tied up on the floor below. It must have been his warning shot I heard. Hold it, boys. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man wants to talk to you. He can't get us all. Get him. He's only one guy. He... Oh. Correction, I'm only one Spider-Man. That makes a big difference. Rocky Nails, Pee-wee, don't just stand there, rush him. If we all tackle him, I'm well... Oh. Nice try, fellas. Too bad your skill doesn't match your enthusiasm. Where'd he go? Watch where you're swinging at, you nut. 
As the fight progresses, a silent, leering figure watches it from a short distance away. It was very clever of the chameleon to order those unsuspecting fools to attempt a midnight burglary. I always study my prey in action before I begin the hunt. Need have no fear, he will be a worthy foe. He has speed, skill, and daring. And now I shall see how quickly he thinks in emergencies. His opponents seem to have him trapped. He's cornered. Come on, rush him. Now's our chance to finish him off. Look out! He's starting to flip himself up over us. How does he do it? He's standing on the side of the wall. I can't reach him. But from my little vantage point up here, I can reach you. See what I mean? Now look, after all my trouble, you think I'm going to let you run away so easily? Quick, we'll duck around this cement block and... Hey, how'd you get over here? Might as well wrap it up now. My automatic camera has taken all the pics I need. Okay, kitties, you must all be getting tired after such a strenuous playtime, so you'd better take a little nap until the police get here. Now that was a pleasant way to spend a few idle minutes. It's about time something I did turned out right. I was beginning to feel like a walking jinx. But, as he swings past a nearby rooftop, Spidey Spider Sense detects another presence, an evil presence, and so... Greetings, Spider-Man. I've been looking forward to our first meeting, which shall also be your last meeting with anybody. Craven? Ah, you know me. How unusual. It isn't often that my defeated jungle foes know the name of the one who vanquished them. What's with the angle, mister? How come you're anti-Spider-Man? I am a hunter. Hunting is my entire life. But there were no more goals for me to strive for until I learned of you. You shall be my greatest triumph. You didn't expect me to be so fast. Boy, now I'm in for it. He's the worst kind of enemy. A nut who fights you just for the sheer fun of it. Ugh, this is what I was afraid of. You are too easy to defeat. And now I'll end your career forever with my smashing nerve punch. The same punch that can down a full-grown charging rhino. I've got to turn. Block it with my shoulder. Ow. Good, you saved yourself, but only for a minute. Now I'll... What? My shoulder went numb. I can't afford to give him a second chance. Okay, Buster, if it's a real fight you want... He is stronger than I thought. Even with one hand, he's beating me. I can't defeat him fairly. But if I can manage to nick him with one of my special potion weapons... Ah, I did it. Hey, something scratched me. You're not gonna beat me like that, Craven. I... I feel kinda woozy. That was more than a simple scratch. He's got some sort of potion in my bloodstream. But what was it? And then, as Spider-Man releases his savage foe for an instant, Craven races away with a triumphant cry ringing from his searing lips. I have won, Spider-Man. My potion will weaken you enough for me to beat you any time I desire. But I'll prolong my enjoyment. I'll finish you off another time. I'll let him go for now, but I've got to clear my head. I'm getting dizzier by the minute. I'll just grab my camera from where I left it and try to make it home. For the next few minutes, the amazing teenager slowly and cautiously hugs the roof, tops on his journey home, and then finally... Phew, my shoulder is getting back to normal now, but I can't lose this dizziness. And now my hands have started to twitch. I can't make them stop. No wonder Craven is such a successful hunter if he uses potions such as those. Well, maybe I'll be okay again in the morning after a good night's sleep. I've got a hunch I'm gonna need all the strength and powers I've got. And in another part of town. I don't get it, Craven. You say he's far stronger, far more dangerous than you thought, and yet you're happy about it. Of course I am. He's the kind of foe I've always wanted. One to test my mettle to its fullest. What a triumph this will be for me. How sweet will be the fruits of my victory. Now, my mini-faced friend, let us plan our next deadly trap for Spider-Man. The thrill of the hunt is making my blood boil with anticipation. I chose well when I picked you. You're even more merciless, more dangerous than I remembered. There's the next morning. I can't wait to see if I've recovered from Craven's potion. I seem to feel okay, I'm as nimble as ever, but I haven't lost the shakes. My hands are still twitching. What does it mean? How long will it last? There's Aunt May talking with one of our neighbors. I'll try to gulp down my breakfast and leave before she can notice my shaking hands. It was so nice of you to drop in, dear. 
I'll give him your message. Good morning, Peter, dear. I've got some good news for you. Uh-oh, I'm too late. I've arranged a date for you with a lovely girl. A blind date? Oh, brother, that's all I need. She's a niece of our neighbor, Mrs. Watson, and she'd just love to meet you, Peter. I appreciate it a lot, Aunt May, but... No buts about it, Peter Parker. It's time you begin to think seriously about your future. You'll want a girl who'll make a good housewife. Someone like Mrs. Watson's niece. Okay, Aunt May. We'll talk about it later, though. I've got to go see Mr. Jameson now. I hope you're wearing your winter weight suit, Peter, dear. There's still a nip in the air, and you know how fragile you are. Thank goodness she didn't notice my shaking hands. A few minutes later, the Daily Bugle. The shaking has almost all stopped. Maybe the fresh air is good for it. Anyway, I hope Betty isn't still mad at me. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hi, Betty. You look lovelier than ever today. Why, hello, Petey Weety. Here, let me fix her little tizy wisey Petey. Cut it out, Betty. You know that I hate being called Petey. Really, Mr. Parker? I didn't notice you telling that empty-headed blonde schoolgirl not to call you Petey. Of course I didn't tell her. What do I care what she calls me? She doesn't mean anything to me. Boy, females must have originally been intended for another planet. I think... Hey, what's he doing here? You have my word, Jameson. Spider-Man's days are numbered. Craven with Jameson? What does it mean? Remember, it has to be perfectly legal. Much as I hate Spider-Man, I won't stand for anything that violates the law. What's your tone of voice, Jameson? You're talking to Craven the Hunter. Nobody dictates to me. What could they have been cooking up? And why does Craven look so confident, as though he has a foolproof scheme of some sort? After Craven departs, a troubled Peter Parker and J. Joe Jameson prints of the crime photos he had taken the day before, and then... These pics are bad, Parker, but who cares about punks like these? I want pictures of Spider-Man in action, or of Craven. Get me? Sure, I'll get them for you. I've got to get photos of my next battle with Craven if I manage to live through it. Peter? He seems to have forgotten all about me. What can be wrong? Later in his science class at school. I don't get it. What makes Craven so confident that he can beat me? The suspense is getting on my nerves. And then suddenly... Oh no! My hands started shaking again. I couldn't even hold that test tube. Hey, what's with Pewdie Parker? I never saw Peter Parker that way before. He looks like he's all thumbs. This is awful. I can't hold on to a thing. For goodness sake, how clumsy can you be? I'm surprised at you, Parker. You, of all people. Now you better clean this mess up and be quick about it. Yes, sir, Mr. Warren. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what got into me. Looks like you are right about teacher's pet, Flash. He's finally cracking up. Sure, those eggheads are all the same. Sooner or later, all that studying catches up with them. You tell him, Flash. If you ask me, he's all shook up since you told him you'd paste him one if he didn't stay away from your girl Liz. You know what a coward he is. If you ask me, he's all shook up since you told him you'd paste him one if you didn't stay away from your girl Liz. You know what a coward he is. Yeah, he's real big in the gray matter department, but he wasn't around when they handed out backbones. Flash Thompson, you've no right to talk about Peter that way. Anybody can be a loudmouth like you, but it takes brains to be smart. I agree with Liz. Later, after school is out. Don't strain your eyes, Parker. I want him in good shape when I blacken them for you. Look how he's trying to pretend he doesn't even hear you, Flash. But he, he can't fool us. Wow, look at the headline Jameson plastered all over his front page. He and Craven must have cooked up something against me. And as the evening wears on... Mito, dear, you just mustn't study so hard. You'll tire yourself out. Now you just get into bed and get a good night's sleep. I will, Aunt May. I was just finishing up. Thanks for coming up to see me. I can't tell her, but I've been wondering, if Craven does defeat me, what will become of Aunt May? How will she manage without me? But no sooner does his dawning aunt leave the room than the brilliant teenager gets an idea. 
I've got it. I'll find a way to put my spider tracer on Craven. Then I'll always know just where he is, if he's about to attack me. But after changing to Spider-Man, the amazing adventurer learns that his plan will not be so easy to carry out. Darn these shaking hands of mine. I can't keep steady enough to use my web accurately. The only thing to do is leap from building to building. Good thing my spider agility is still as good as ever. Meanwhile, not too far away. What makes you so sure that Spider-Man will come after you, Craven? It's the law of the jungle, my friend. The desire to survive. He knows he must stop me in order to save himself. Don't forget I have studied him the way a skilled hunter studies any intended prey. I know his nature, his instincts. It is I who control the hunt. And now it is time for him to find me. Here's what we'll do. If I get anywhere near Craven, my spider sense ought to tip me off. In fact, it's starting to tingle now. He must be in this neighborhood. There he is. But it almost seems too easy, and my spider sense feels different somehow, as though it isn't sure. I don't get it. What's happening to me? Why am I so uncertain? Well, I'll worry about those things later. My main problem now is how to plant my spider tracer on Craven without him knowing it. But wait, what's this? Are there two cravens, or...? How simple it was to bait the trap for my unwary game. No wonder Craven is the greatest hunter of all time. And now the quarry has made his last fatal mistake. The stage is set, the moment has arrived, it is time for the attack. Now the hunter takes over the hunt. It's strange, Craven is walking almost as though he knows someone is following him. I don't like it. Everything is too quiet, too calm, and my spider sense is warning me. But of what? He is starting to get suspicious now, but it's too late, the trap is sprung. A net falling over me, but from where? How? I've got to dive out from under. No, I'm too late. What can it be made of? Even with my spider strength, I can't rip it. I, but I mustn't panic. There's always a way out. I have to think. Think. And so the brilliant brain of the ace science student begins to work at lightning Mike speed. The same brain which Flash Thompson has marked so many times. The magnificently trained brain which quickly comes up with the answer in the nick of time. I've got one chance. They say a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. In a net of this type, with so many joinings, there must be at least one weak link. Now, all all I have to do, I must exert all the pressure I can against each section until, ah, I found it. One small section which rifles back slightly under the tension, creating an opening. Now, by exerting maximum pressure at that very spot, I can make the opening large enough for me to roll out of. But, just as Spider-Man makes a dash for freedom and the beating of a jungle drum distracts him, confuses him for a split second, making him uncertain which way to run. Those drum beats. So loud, so penetrating, going right into my brain. An old jungle trick to confuse the enemy. Taking advantage of Spider-Man's brief pause, Craven attacks with the speed of a savage panther. Ha! The most dangerous game of all, and I, Craven, have caught you. Don't kid yourself, mister. Those metal charm bracelets won't be able to hold Spider-Man. Wrong, my boastful foe. They'll even hold a hunger mad tiger, but my fists will do the rest. Wah, where'd you go? Up here, Craven. I hate to watch a man making a fool of himself. Say, these are more than just iron manacles. They have some sort of magnetic attraction. They're trying to pull my wrist and ankle together. They're getting stronger all the time. And they have a small built-in bell that jingles when I move. Old Craven doesn't miss a trick. There's no hope for you, Spider-Man. My escape-proof cuffs get stronger every minute, and the only key is the one I wear around my neck. Ah, so you want to run a little longer, eh? Good, this is the type of sport I enjoy the most. It may be sport to him, but I've got to figure a way to get these uncanny handcuffs off me before they completely drain all my strength. Can't hide from me, Spider-Man, not when I hear that bell jangle every time you move. I can't separate my arm and leg. I can't fight Kraven with one arm. There must be a way out. Lucky my spider sense could still help me escape Kraven's net, but how long can my strength hold out under these conditions? Keep struggling. The longer it takes, the greater will be my victory when I finally to defeat you. But, summoning all his remaining spider strength, the teenage adventurer reaches a lamp house containing a wiring circuit box. 
These master wires are what I want. If I tear them in a certain way, the park will be plunged into darkness. Now, there in the shadowy gloom, the advantage is mine, due to my spider senses. No matter how it hurts, I've got to pull my wrist away from my ankle. Phew, I dodged Craven's net just in time. These blammed bells keep giving me away. I've got to silence them somehow. Wait, I've got it. What a nut I am. If I can't tear them off, I can at least shut them up. All I need to do is spill out my liquid web fluid all over them. It worked. Now it's my turn to do a little stalking. Uh-oh, there's my old spider sense again. Someone's hiding behind those hedges. Didn't expect the worm to turn, eh? Okay, Craven, this is the showdown. The chameleon? So that's why there seem to be two Cravens. You were impersonating the real one. You haven't won yet, Spider-Man. Craven is still hunting for you, and nothing that lives can escape him for long. I'll have my revenge on you yet. And not far away from the very spot. I don't hear any bells. Spider-Man thinks he can trick me by not moving, but all I have to do is keep searching this area. And then suddenly... If you're looking for me, pal, I'm right behind you. Spider-Man, but how? Recognize this, Craven? It belonged to a friend of yours. He got the chameleon. I've got to get away. Hide long enough to devise a new hunting plan. You'll never find me here in the woods. There is no jungle trick I haven't mastered. Craven the hunter still cannot be beaten. Spider-Man is probably still wandering around in circles down there trying to guess where I disappeared to. Little does he dream that I'm as much at home in the dark as any jungle creature. Soon Soon he'll realize he has no chance of finding me, and then his spider beam shining right on me. How did he do it? It was just a lucky break, but I'll lose him for good now as I dash at breakneck speed through the shrubbery in the shadows. Nice try, Craven. You'd make a real dandy butterfly collector. He found me again. It's impossible. I've been a fool. I underestimated that accursed spider instinct of his. But now I'll outmaneuver him. I've still got the speed of a cheetah, the cunning of a fox, and the ferocity of a tiger. The final victory must be mine. He's coming. Now for the oldest jungle trick of all. No moving, no breathing. I'll be like part of the rock, playing dead until... The moment to strike. Oh no you don't. Stay still, blast you. My nerf punch will finish you off. I hate to be a party poop, but this time I'm calling the signals, Craven. How does it feel to be on the receiving end for a change, oh great white hunter? You are mocking me. No one can do that and live. Once I have you trapped in my net, I'll... No, nobody can move as fast as that. It's not human. Maybe not, but it's very definitely spider. I've lost the advantage. I've tried every attack, every trick I know, but he's turned them all against me. Where are you going? The gel is in the other direction. I've got to run. To got to escape. I mustn't let him get me. I don't want to be caught. Not by him. And so the hunter becomes the hunted, eh, Craven? Another web. This one's strong between two trees. I cannot push through it. And like all those who flee in blind panic, in unreasoning fear and cowardice, the hunter at last is caught. Then the victorious teenager takes the key from his trapped foe. Now I'll just get out of these two little bracelets of yours, Craven, and I've got more good news for you. My shaking has stopped. I guess strenuous exercise was the antidote for your potion, eh? Hmm, now what do I do with you? You're too bad-tempered to keep as a pet, and much too old to adopt. I guess I'll just leave you here until the police find you, if you promise not to try to hunt the first little bunny rabbit or squirrel that comes by. Wait, you can't just leave me like this. Wanna bet? The police are coming now to investigate why the lights aren't lit in the park. They'll find you and conduct a nice little investigation. See all the fun things you've got to look forward to? They've already picked up the chameleon. This should make a great front page pick for Jay Jonah. Not that he deserves it. I haven't done anything. Craven is the one you want. He's been trying to hunt human beings. We'll take him with us too, mister. We'll make sure you don't get lonely. Later, dark at the Daily Bugle building. Now this is more like it, Parker. Exclusive pictures of the chameleon. No one even knew he was back in this country. You deserve a big bonus for this. Miss Brandt, open the safe and give Parker one of my own personal bars of milk chocolate. No wonder people always take advantage of you, JJ. You're all heart. It's wonderful to see Peter in good spirits again. 
Peter, I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you before. I had no right to be nasty to you just because another girl likes you. I, I'm not doing anything tonight. Heck, I promised Aunt May I'd meet that Watson girl tonight. But I just can't tell Betty. Sorry, Betty, I can't make it. But I'll call you real soon. I understand, Peter. I should have known a girl can always trust her first impressions. Just my luck. She thinks I'm cold-shouldering her because I have a date with Liz. Poor Betty. If only I could explain. Why am I always in the middle? I can't ever bring myself to say no to Aunt May, so I end up hurting the girl I care for. Phooey, and that Watson gal is probably a refugee from a horror movie. If only I didn't have to see her tonight. Peter, dear, I've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I have bad news. I'm beginning to think there's no other kind. Mrs. Watson's niece has a headache. She can't see you tonight. I hope you're not too disappointed, dear. Gosh, Aunt May, it is a shock, but I'll be big about it. Hello, Betty? This is Pete. You know which Pete. Aw, oh, Betty, don't be that way. Wait. Don't hang up. Betty! Okay, if that's the way she wants to act, I'll call Liz Allen. But, 60 seconds later... Yes siree, that's some big crush she has on me. Her mom says she's out dancing with Flash Thompson. Boy, with my luck, I sometimes wonder who's sticking pins in a Peter Parker doll. Not long afterwards, a steamer prepares to head for South America. You're both getting off mighty easy by merely being deported from this country. Just make sure you don't come back. Are you going to let them do this to us, Craven? Of course. I'll get back in shape hunting in the jungles of the Congo. And then, when I'm more powerful than ever, we shall return and continue our hunt for Spider-Man. A hunt which will never end until he is destroyed. Maybe a trip here to the docks will help me forget about Betty for a while. Gee, I'd like to be on that ship right now. It looks so quiet, so peaceful. But I'm just not that lucky. The end. Well, guys, that was The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 15. This was our introduction to Craven the Hunter, and we saw the return of the Chameleon, which was actually the very first enemy of Spider-Man ever. We can see that Peter's bad luck is definitely kicking up, with him missing out on spending time with Betty, and even missing out on going on a date with Liz Allen when he actually intended to do so, finally. But nonetheless, we got a teaser of a certain someone that Aunt May is trying to set up a date with him for so can't wait to see that comic issue in the future but nonetheless guys if you enjoyed this series and want to see it continue be sure to smash that like button subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys next time peace out